No. I hate this. Oh my god. Uh, okay, there we go. That was sad. Okay. I want to, like, play a practice thing of, like, some kind of tower. Whoa. It was very, um, surprising. Because there's just one jump board normally. So it's like a head hitting thing where basically if you, like, fail it, there's not a guaranteed falling down to the bottom or something. But basically, I, um, this is this one jump that normally if I fail it once and I just, like, fail it a million more times before actually getting it, like, without falling down onto the bottom. But yeah, basically, um, it was like, um, if I fail it once, then I normally fail it like a million more times before getting it. And I just failed it once and then got it like the second try after. My, one of my favorite songs that have, that has ever like appeared in the, um, in like a J Todd thing is this one song it, that's from I mean, that's it's the third floor of tower of stress no i just realized i'm gonna have to go in like 10 minutes or something 10 minutes or so Yeah, today I got a PB in Tower of Annoyingly Simple Trials, which is literally the easiest tower. Well, it isn't the easiest tower, because a lot of people say that this one called Tower of Six Feet Under is the and the easiest obby tower. But yeah. But I managed to get like 342, I believe, for Tower of Annoyingly Simple Trials, which is pretty nice. It is extremely easy. I also recently completed this, my new hardest tower, called Tower of Killjoys, and it was somehow my first ever try coming back to JTOC, because I haven't played in a while. Like, I haven't really played in a while, up until, um, like, three days ago or something. Well, obviously not three days ago, but still. Pretty lately. And also... Something that's actually kind of demotivating about Tower of Stress is that I've literally failed the last and second to last floors at least, like, total, probably like around five times. Most of them I actually landed somewhere that wasn't at the bottom, so I just kept going. But then at one point I just fell down to the bottom. And then there's this one other thing where I... Um... Yeah. There's another... And my worst fail was, um, it's my only fail in, um, the last floor, and I was trying to do something stupid. I love doing that. There's this one, like, spinner thing called, like, the kill brick spinner, so it basically just damages you whenever you touch it. And I love to do this one thing that I, like, have figured out. On how to not get hurt by it at all. And I wanted this an adventure. And I gotta pretend it. Dude, I swear. This, the song in like the one, two, three, four, five, six, the sixth floor. The song in the sixth floor sounds so much. I don't know how to how exactly to describe a Roblox song that would be used in a lot of Roblox songs. I mean, that would be used in a lot of like Roblox games. It just sounds like a Roblox song that would be used in a lot of Roblox games. So far, I've only heard it in JTAW, but still, it just sounds so much like a, a um, Roblox song, mainly because of the the drop. Time for the hard jumps that have literally only failed once that I still consider hard because they are very long. 
start to wrap it up. I know. I can bath in about 15 minutes and shut it off. Eh. You have 20 minutes. I meant 15. Okay, good. I almost failed. Well, I actually didn't get close to failing at all. I just sometimes like to pretend like I almost fell. I'm like, oh my gosh. Oh. I'm back to the floor that I have repeated a million times because there's like one jump that I've failed a million times. I don't even remember what the fail that I've found. What was the jump that I have failed like a million times again? I don't even remember anymore. Okay, I did not fail that jump. There's only been like two um, jumps in this, in um, the second, no, third to last floor. There's only been two jumps in the third to last floor that I've like failed that I can remember. There's one that was the first time I ever got there that I haven't failed yet after. But then there's another jump that I've failed like two times near the end. And then, oh yeah, dude. So, the reason why failing the, um, second to last jump, I mean, the second to last floor is so annoying, is literally because there's this one, I believe it's 1,000 stud truss. So basically, you're climbing for 1,000 studs. Because basically, a tower is 100 by 100 by 1000 studs so basically just going really high up and then yeah but yeah, you, you basically have to jump off of this thing and try and jump onto the truss which is obviously 1000 studs long and then you have once you land on it when you land on it you're literally at the bottom floor but on the truss outside and then if you fail the jump then you just go you actually have to restart but yeah Okay, almost back inside. Okay. Not fail this, please. Oh, almost failed it. But I will probably fail soon. Fail safe. Ha ha ha. I don't know why I said that. Okay, I'm back here. Please actually make this jump and don't fail. A, I didn't fail the jump. <sighs> oh my gosh, dude, my heart is pounding. <sighs> Please. And do not get a wind pad kick. Dude, before, whenever I first found out about a wind pad kick, I was like, oh, I want to get one soon. I don't know why I wanted to get one. I don't know why I ever thought those thoughts, because now I'm probably gonna get a windpad kick and be sad. Whew. What did I ever say that I wanted a windpad kick? I must have been stupid. Back whenever I said it. Oh, well, we're all <laughs> yeah, true. Whoopee be but two jumps.
Oh my god. Please. Oh my god. I got so close. Yes. 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 Oh my god. Oh. Yes. Oh. Yes. Finally, dude. I completed it. G -g 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 oh. oh yes. <laughs>